we're going to talk a little bit about a process. What was the process that Michelle had to come up with with her uncle? What process did they have to come up with? JD, do you remember? Flour. They used flour in the process. What was that process? Remember, what is a process, Darren? It's a recipe. Kind of like a recipe. Steps that you have to follow. What were the steps that Michelle and her uncle had to come up with? Uh, the recipe. For what? For how to do what? Make uh, to, to. Um, to make um, the Play-Doh. To make the Play-Doh, so the boys and girls would know the steps to make the Play-Doh. That was the process that they had to come up with. We're going to talk about the quality of some Play-Doh. We're going to get to touch some Play-Doh. <gasps> We're going to talk about what it feels like, and I need your, your help. How do you decide if this is good quality? Now, that's a big word we don't use a lot. How do you know if this is good quality Play-Doh? What, what is quality? Addison, how do you know that it's good Play-Doh? Um, you gotta feel it. What do you mean you have to feel it? If it's not dry. It's not dry? Javel, what else would make it good Play-Doh? You could make it in a snake. You could make it in a snake? Okay, I'm gonna give your group some Play-Doh that they're gonna get to, to touch and play with. So make sure that everybody has a turn with some of it, okay? Because we're going to talk about what the Play-Doh feels like and if it it's now? good quality or not. Let's pat it. Let's pat it. JD, put it on the table. Oh, it's it's really really good. 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 Has everybody had a chance to touch their Play-Doh? Yeah. Okay. What makes this Play-Doh good quality? How do you know that Play-Doh's good? Because we can make good stuff. Oh, you can make it into sh a shape? Yeah, like okay. Put your Play-Doh in a ball. Make a ball with your Play-Doh. One ball. Tell me, how did your Play-Doh feel? Shh. If we're talking about good quality or high quality, what did your Play-Doh feel like that made it good Play-Doh? Javel? It feels soft. It feels soft. Okay, so I'm going to write this word up here because we're going to say this is Good or high quality. It's soft. What else is your Play-Doh? Give me another word, Kelsey. It's smooth. There's no chunks in this Play-Doh. Wait, can you mold it into different shapes? Yeah. Is that a, a quality of good Play-Doh? You can mold it? Yeah. Okay. Keep your ball of Play-Doh by your name tag because I am going to give you something else. I have another Play-Doh I'm going to give to you. Ew. What do you mean, ew? It's disgusting. Here, Belinda, that's for your group. What's wrong with this Play-Doh? Addison. It's rough. It's rough? What's wrong with it, Javel? It's, it's sticky. Would this be good quality Play-Doh or would this be bad Play-Doh? Bad Play-Doh. Okay, so this wouldn't be Play-Doh you'd want to use at home? No. No? So we would call this low quality. Do they look the same? No. Okay, so let's talk for a second. Let's use some words to describe what this low quality Play-Doh is like. What words would you use to describe it? Could, is it still soft? It's not soft? What word would you use to describe it if it's not soft, Kelsey? It was sticky. If we were going to test Play-Doh to find out if it was high quality or low quality, what kind of a test could we do? Could we, could we make something? Is there something we could make? Oh, I see JD making something right now. What are you making, JD? I like a snake? Could that be a test that we do? Could we do a test, a snake test? When you do your snake test, make a snake with a with a good Play-Doh, and make a snake with the with the what you say is bad Play-Doh, and let's let's see what the difference is. So make your snake. Did you make a snake with your good Play-Doh, and you made a snake with your bad Play-Doh? Let's look at our snakes. 
Can, is there a difference between the good, the good Play-Doh and the bad Play-Doh when you do your snake test? Addison? One feels rough and one feels soft. Okay. Is there something different about how the bad or the low quality Play-Doh looks as opposed to the other Play-Doh? Look at your snakes. What's different about your color Play-Doh than the white Play-Doh? What do they look like? What's different about them? Annalise. This one tears apart and this one doesn't. Okay, so the low quality Play-Doh, if you did our snake test, the low quality would break apart and the, the, the good quality would stick to, it would stays together. Do you remember yesterday when we were testing our Play-Doh quality? Yeah. And we had some white Play-Doh that was a little sticky yeah. and lumpy, you guys called it. And then we had some Play-Doh that was colored, that was nice and smooth. Well, we're going to talk about the materials that we use would use to make that white Play-Doh. You're going to get to look at some and we're going to get to touch a little bit and we're going to get to mix some materials and we're going to see what we get when we mix those things together. Somebody yesterday when we were using the white Play-Doh said that it smelled like something. What material did you think was in that Play-Doh by just the way it smelled? Annalise? Yeah, um, it was flour. It smelled like flour. So flour is one of the materials that you would mix together to make a Play-Doh. We're going to look at flour, we're going to look at salt, and we're going to look at water. Today, before we do any mixing of materials, I want you to take a look at what the flour and the salt and the water looks like. And we're going to write down some properties of what we see, some properties of the flour and the salt and the water. So here's the flour. Look at it and pass it around. Make sure you look at it. Use the spoon to mix it so you see what it looks like in there. Okay. So when you looked at it, what could we say? What could we say are some properties of this flour? It's smooth. It's smooth. Annalise? Soft. Soft? Well, let's look. What do you think? It, it kind of a little lumps in it. It does have a few little lumps in it. It can be a little bit lumpy. What else? Javel, you feel it. Tell me what you think that flour feels like. Okay, so it, we're saying that the flour is soft. Let's try the salt. A, a little bit bumpy. Smooth and a little bit bumpy, okay. All right, so let's look at water. What words could we use to describe water? Sophia? Wet. Wet. Wet's a good word. We are going to mix some solids and liquids together and see what we get because this is going to help us decide on our recipe or our process for Play-Doh. Here's what we're going to do today. We are going to mix a few materials together at a time. Just two, because we want to see what we get when we mix flour and water together. This is a quarter cup measure, so I'm going to put a quarter cup of flour into my bowl. Let's look at the flour. We said that it's powdery, that it's soft. So what's going to happen to this flour when I add water? water? Let's find out. So I'm going to put the, the water in the flour and watch. We're going to mix this together. All right, I'm going to walk around so you can watch what's happening here. Watch, look what's happening. So you saw what happened when I mixed this together. You were looking at it. What do we have now? Is it still soft and powdery, the flour? What happened? Zakiah said it looks like pudding, and Kelsey said it's liquidy. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to mix some flour and some salt together. And I want you to tell me what you see. Pass it on. Tell me what it looked like when we mixed the flour and the salt together. Was it still soft and powdery and bumpy? Is it still powdery, Addison? Okay. So we can say that this one, when you mix it together, it's still powdery. It's still a little bit 
gritty. I see some the rough bumps from the salt in here. Is this soft or is this hard? Soft. Soft. Now we're going to do a few other mixings. And here I have a half a cup of flour. So I mixed twice as much flour in here. And I'm still going to only add my one little cup of water. One quarter cup of water. And I'm going to mix it up and see what happens. What's going on with this? What do you see? Is it liquidy like the other one? What did we create here? What did we get in this mixture? Is it thicker than when we just had a little bit of flour and a little bit of water? Yes. We've got a dough that's thick now, right? What else can we say, JD? A little bit mushy. Mushy. We could say mushy. It's more of a, of a th thick consistency, isn't it? Yeah. It's not something that's just liquidy like that other one. Um, I think the data collection piece in Lesson 3 is very helpful because they can refer back to it when they're creating or improving their Play-Doh, knowing that if they only had equal amounts of flour and water, it's very runny and sticky, and if they have more flour, they can get a more solid mass. Um, and being able to refer back to that is very helpful when they're gonna when they go and improve their their process. So I think just knowing your students and being able to make the modifications necessary to make it a workable and allow them to be able to see and touch and feel everything, so they really can grasp the, the major concept of that lesson.